Do you get as stressed out as we do when hitching up your truck to your fifth wheel? Do you use a checklist? We didn't until we made a costly mistake. This video shows our hitch up checklist step by step. Now the first thing we do is sweep the slides. I get up on the roof with a broom and I make sure they're all nice and clean. Now the next thing we do is bring in the slides. First we go room to room and make sure that there are no objects on the floor or anywhere they're going to create a collision when we bring in the slides. Then as a team, one watches and one activates the buttons to bring the slides in to make sure they come in properly. After the slides are all in, we clean the stairs out properly and then swing the stairs into place. Then we close the door and lock it and lock the handrail into place. This is where we do our initial walk around. We're checking to make sure that the awning's in, the doors are closed, the stairs are in, all the items are secured, and now we can proceed with doing the hitch up. Next, I check to make sure that my wheels are all chalked properly and haven't moved over the course of our stay. We're gonna to need to make sure the wheels are chalked for the tug test later on. Next, we loosen the wing nuts on the steady fast stabilizers. These have to be loosened before you move the stabilizers or they could be damaged while you're retracting them. So it's important to make sure all three wing nuts are loosened. This is where I do the initial lineup of the truck with the fifth wheel, making sure the hitch and the kingpin are relatively lined up and a couple of feet apart. I wanna make sure that I still have enough room at this point to swing the tailgate down if I hadn't swung it down already. In this case, I had the tailgate down, but I wanna make sure that the tailgate is down before I proceed. Next, I reach into the back of the truck and make sure the pin is pulled from the hitch arm and the jaws are open ready to receive the kingpin. Next, I go to the level up controller and I hit the left and right buttons at the same time to activate hitch recognition that will bring the hitch relatively close to the last position before I auto leveled. Now this is where I back the truck up and get the hitch really close to the kingpin. I want to get them close enough so I can judge the height difference between the kingpin and the hitch for the next step. On the LCD controller, I hit the retract button till the LED comes on and then hit front to retract the front levelers. This will bring the kingpin down on top of the hitch, making contact. Now I slowly back up the truck to make sure the kingpin engages with the hitch and the arm swings into place, locking properly. With the truck still in reverse, I engage the parking brake. Next, I go around to the back of the truck and take a good look at the jaws and make sure that they are fully engaged with the kingpin. After that, I go to the arm on the B&W hitch and insert the locking pin. Next, I attach the seven pin cable from the fifth wheel to the truck for the indicator lights and brakes. Next, I attach the emergency brake activation cable to the hitch securely. I usually close the tailgate at this point. Now I go to the level up controller and retract the front stabilizer arms until at least one of the legs is an inch or two off of the ground. I go back into the truck and disengage the parking brake. This is where I perform the tug test, put the car in drive, and put some pressure on the hitch to test that it's engaged properly. Now I re-engage the parking brake, then I go back to the level up control panel. I use the down arrow key till I see auto attract, then I hit enter. Now this will bring up all the stabilizer jacks automatically to their home position. Now I walk all around the fifth wheel, checking to make sure all six stabilizer jacks have returned to their top position and are completely retracted. Now I tighten all three of the steady fast wing nuts to make sure they are firmly tightened so they don't loosen during travel. This is where I remove all the wheel chocks. Now I may have to remove the rear wheel chocks, then back up the vehicle a little bit before I can take the front wheel chocks out. This is where I do the final walk around. I make sure I walk around the entire RV looking low and looking high. Now I usually have my list with me and I go through it to make sure I've checked off all the previous items. 
Now I make sure that I have not left anything behind. I do another walk around the RV, making sure I haven't left a hose or a cord or a chair or something else that we've used during our stay. Now this next step made the list after we tore our awning off on our very first RV trip with this fifth wheel. When pulling out of our site, we hadn't noticed that we had left the awning out and the very first tree ripped it off. Link to that video in the description. As a team, Alice and I check the tail lights, brake lights, and left and right indicators on the RV. Next, I move the mirrors into the towing position and adjust them so that I can see the RV properly. Next, I engage the tow haul mode on the truck, and then I confirm the LED and I confirm on the dash. Then I make sure my parking brake is disengaged. Sometimes I have the truck in four wheel drive, I make sure it's back in two wheel drive. Then I make sure the trailer brakes are activating by pressing the brake and making sure it activates on the dash. Then I look back into the bed of the truck to make sure there aren't any loose items that are gonna fly away as I'm driving down the highway. Then I turn on my TPMS and make sure all four wheels on the fifth wheel are reporting temperature and pressure within range. Now I go all the way through my list, one item at a time, making sure that I haven't forgotten anything. After that, I can drive safely away to my next destination. We hope you have found this hitching up video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. It is a work in progress, so please let us know in the comments if there is something you do differently to reduce that hitch up stress. We do love to learn from the awesome RV community. If you like our checklist, shoot us an email. Also, please consider subscribing to see the places we go that make RVing all worthwhile. And remember, downsizing does make sense.